my name is Mark Hamler. I work for the uh, Institute, Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Germany. And there I work uh, for the Institute of Applied Materials. Uh, my research background is modeling mechanics of functional materials. Uh, and uh, one emphasis was sm uh, smart materials, uh, ferroelectric materials. And another uh, big uh, topic in these days is also modeling uh, batteries, uh, materials for electrochemical um, energy storage uh, batteries to, to say short, yes. And we have a group of, uh, depending of the, uh, on uh, five to 10 PhD students typically or, and master students. And uh, this is the work we are doing. Uh, I have been to IIT Madras three times and uh, the first time, and I have to check again, was uh, on the occasion of a conference uh, that was entitled uh, uh, smart devices modeling of material systems that was organized in 2008 by professors uh, Srinivasan and uh, Arok Rajan. At, uh, and I've been again back to IIT Madras in 2013, again uh, visiting a conference uh, which was uh, entitled International Conference on Computer-Aided uh, Engineering that was co-organized by Professor Ratna Kumar Anabatula. Uh, and uh, lately I have been to, um, to IIT Madras in November 2018, again for a workshop, the workshop, international workshop on the mechanics of energy materials, which was again organized uh, by Professor Ratna Kumar Anabatula. And each time I stayed around for one week at IIT Madras. And I had also uh, discussions with several of, of your, uh, our colleagues there. <laughs> Especially with, with Professor Anabatula, we have an ongoing cooperation uh, and uh, we permanently uh, keep on uh, publishing uh, joint papers and uh, the during the meetings and visits to Madras, the basic purpose was to discuss uh, matters, uh, research matters, research topics and uh, common activities. And then again, we had a series of uh, interns from IIT Madras sent to us. Uh, most of them were sponsored by the DAD WISE program. Uh, and uh, we really profited a lot from their contribution to our activities here in, in Karlsruhe. So that was also an important component of our cooperation. So the cooperation is with two departments, Department of Mechanical Energy uh, Engineering, which would be uh, Professor Anna Bartula, and then the Department of Applied Mechanics with uh, Professor Rajan Arok Rajan. And uh, with both of them, we are in continuous exchange, scientific exchange, yeah. Um, I've also had the pleasure to visit several labs, also by uh, of uh, Professor Anna Bartula at that time, and uh, I'm really impressed about the capabilities uh, that are there and uh, the kind of work, high quality work that is done there, I can clearly say. <laughs> Uh, basically, there are two persons, as I mentioned before, uh, Dr. Rajan of Applied Mechanics uh, Department. Uh, this cooperation goes actually back to the time when he was a PhD student with a colleague of mine here in Germany. And uh, his uh, PhD work was on uh, ferroelectric uh, materials, which uh, is also a major emphasis of our own work. And uh, that's how we got to know each other. Uh, and um, the other collaborator is Professor Ratna Kuma Anabatula of Mechanical Engineering. Uh, and he uh, used to work for us as a postdoc before he uh, got his faculty position here at IIT Madras. And uh, back to these times, um, <clears throat> we are continuing having a close cooperation on the mechanics of granular materials. 
uh, granular materials have interesting applications in many areas of especially energy technologies, starting from uh, electrochemical energy storage, but also in uh, fusion energy technology. And uh, Professor Anna Bartula is an excellent modeler and in the meantime has also gone beyond that, uh, doing experimental work in that uh, area. But in the meantime, he has uh, opened up uh, further fields of research uh, beyond that, of course. Uh, stays were always a very uh, pleasant experience. Um, uh, the, the campus of IIT Madras is, of course, a little bit a paradise, as you know very well, uh, with the deer and all the other animals and all the nature and the green. And uh, it's actually a quiet place uh, and a place uh, which really uh, fosters uh, th uh, thinking, doing research and so on. And um, I enjoyed actually very much staying there in every respect, I have to say, yeah. <music> India is, is a, is a, has a very promising future from what I can see. Um, <clears throat> of course, my view is basically focused on IIT Madras and its environment. But I, uh, from also from the interns that came to us and other students uh, from Madras, I, IIT Madras, I got the impression uh, these are excellently uh, educated uh, people, and they have um, they do excellent work. And I think based on that, uh, India has the potential of a very bright future. Uh, in the sense that it can take over a leading role uh, in technology uh, uh, development uh, in, in every respect, as, at least as far as I can judge from the fields where I work. Um, I don't, I haven't seen too much else of India, I have to say, uh, but uh, what I have seen in Chennai and IIT, IIT Madras impressed me a lot. really um, appreciate a lot uh, the exchange programs between India and Germany for interns, uh, which uh, helped us a lot to, um, how to say, to, to in increase and intensify our cooperation to the best of, of both sides, I would say. Uh, increase uh, the exchange on the students' uh, level, but also, of course, on the uh, professor's level. Um, and if there would be uh, more money available for uh, uh, visits also of Indian professors and colleagues in Europe, I think that would, would help and the other way around, of course.